Today yeah. we're talking to Mrs. Grace Sibara, one of the entrepreneurs based in Limpopo province. She's been in the business for quite a number of years. We'll talk to her to find out about her business and also more other information that she has to offer. Hello, Mzansi. My name is Tolani Mtetwa. Let's talk tourism. Talk Tourism is your channel where we talk anything and everything that is tourism in South Africa. Let's go straight to the interview. Mensi Bar, tell us about your business. Uh, thank you, Tolani. My business is called Ayani Guest House, Caterers and Interiors. The business started in 1999. And we were doing only catering and interior decoration. Okay. And because of the need for for accommodation, we started with uh, in in my own house with only three guest rooms. Yeah. And then the following year, as the business was running, we added two more. And then the following year, we added two more. We had seven. Mm -hmm. rooms where we were but we didn't have conference facilities as we mm -hmm. said but mm -hmm. the need for conference facilities led us uh, in the uh, uh, selling of our old area where we were to mm -hmm. a new guest house where we are now and here we've got 20 rooms we built 20 rooms we've got yeah. conference facilities now yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we're taking from 20 mm -hmm. to 500 guests mm -hmm. and we also branched to the far north area in Bebe district where yeah. we have a guest yeah. house which takes about 26 people sharing it means we have 13 rooms oh that's great that's great uh, now tell us what drives you as the owner of Hayani or the business that you are running? Basically, it's passion. Passion. Yeah. You know, if you love something, you will go all out to, to realize your dream. I mm. love what I'm doing. I love, mm. I love, I loved uh, tourism. I am a people's person. I love interacting with people, mm. learning new cultures. Mm. That, that's what uh, 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 drives me to and push me to be where I am today. Mm. And seeing people coming to you, to your establishments and, you know, giving you positive feedback. Mm. It says mm. to you, you are on the right track. You mm. keep on doing what you are doing mm. because without servicing your customers, we start without making them satisfied, it means you are doing nothing. Yeah. So this makes me go on a day-to-day -day basis. Now talking COVID, COVID-19, it came in, nobody expected it to be what it has been and it wreaked havoc. Now, what sort of impact would you say this COVID-19 pandemic has had in your business and it continues to have in your business? Yo, COVID-19 left a negative impact on the businesses in the tourism industry. We all know that. Uh, last year in 2020, the, the, the whole industry was shut down, mm. uh, which meant that we mm. also had to close doors. Mm, so mm. there was no income at all. And mm. we started to feel it and we mm. suffered a lot. Our mm. clients are mostly corporates and mm. corporate clients were working from home. Then came level two. Mm. It, was, it was better because people started also to book and also the, the ones who booked before during the COVID pandemic, they mm -hmm. started coming again and it was a little bit better. And what mm -hmm. made us also move was the fact that we were also doing catering. So for mm -hmm. those funerals, you know, 50 to 100 people, we were catering, but the income was not like when we were working very well. Mm -hmm. So this affected mm -hmm. us badly. What are the plans, future plans, particularly to capture the domestic market that you guys are doing there? You spoke about funerals and so on. What, what are the other new things that you want to do? 
You know, Kolani, uh, COVID-19 tempered with all our business plans. Mm-hmm. And uh, presently, mm-hmm. we are trying by all means to relook at our business objectives. We are trying to recover what we have been, what we have mm-hmm. lost. Mm-hmm. And this is mm-hmm. also depressing because there is also a threat of the third wave, which means that uh, tourism will come back, as you said, during maybe 2022, 2023. But we are busy marketing domestically. We are encouraging our clients to visit locally. We still tell them we do have attractions that they can come and and see. And uh, we are marketing our offerings coupled with local attractions and collaborating also with other uh, 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 bigger establishments. It's tough. We will get, yeah, it's really tough. But we believe that tourism will come back and we will soon recover. No, definitely. It It will come back. Now, my last two questions to you are as follows. The first one is about your role as a chairperson of Women in Tourism in Limpopo. Tell us about that role. The Women in Tourism Mm. is an initiative of the Department of Tourism. Mm. And uh, Women in Tourism's main objective is to drive the programs that support women in the tourism industry. You know, there are still women, Kolani, who are working, I mean, in the industry, who are working in isolation. Mm -hmm. They are not collaborating with other uh, women. So it's my role to also try by all means to draw them into our association. As women in tourism, we collaborate with relevant stakeholders like your government, your private entities in making sure that our programs and initiate, are initiated and realized because we cannot work on our own. We cannot say as women, we will be able to face our challenges and we will be able to, to solve our problems. We can't do it without the government. We can't do it without the private sector. And they assist us. We've been doing that in Limpopo and it's, it's, it's really working. Our main challenge or my main role is to that our main challenges, which are accessing the market, capacity building, accessing the, the uh, funding opportunities, mm-hmm. Is, uh, are realized and I'm saying we cannot uh, uh, realize our goals if we work on our own. That's very, very correct. You need a team. You must be a team. Join hands to fight any war. You can't win a war by yourself. You need help. To the viewers, if you are watching this video at home and you have not subscribed to our channel, please do so by pressing that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen and hit the little bell so that once a new video is uploaded, you can get a notification. Uh, May Sibara, where do people find you? If people want to book or want to get more information about your business, where do they find you? Our contact details, uh, physical address is uh, plot 19 Palmit Fontaine in Pulukwane, and our landline number is 015 295 8496. My uh, cell phone number, which you can reach me also when you need to book, is 082 728 3446. Our website is www.ianiguesthouse.co.za. And you can also find us on our Facebook. Our Facebook page is Hayani Guest House and also Hayani Mena. Thank you very much for your time. We know that you are quite a busy woman driving the tourism uh, in the province of Limpopo. Thank you very much for your time on this Freedom Day. Mzansi, you've had it all. Let's support small businesses. Let's support the tourism industry. As Talk Tourism Mzansi, we believe that the tourism industry will bounce back after this global pandemic and create the much needed jobs and wealth for the people of South Africa. Keep safe Mzansi, we love you. Go to YouTube, check for our channel, 
and view all the videos that we are posting and let's support tourism in South Africa. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.